Hey everyone, welcome back to CWL Builds. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I start my Robin costume with templating out all the chest armor and the shoulder pieces. I've been wanting to make a Robin costume for a pretty long time and just haven't gotten started. So today, today was the day. I templated out everything. Now in the future, in the next couple months, I'll be building it out of EVA foam and PVC plastic and sewing and stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to film all those and show them to you guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. So I made a little upgrade to my camera system this past week. Bought myself a nice little mic here. So I hope that the sound quality in these videos are a little bit better, especially for me talking. So you're not hearing me from a couple feet away where my camera is. So first off, you'll need a torso. Now you can buy torsos, like mannequin torsos, but they can get kind of expensive. So what I did was I made my own torso. This is actually fit to me by putting a whole bunch of duct tape on me, on my torso, and then cutting it off. Stuffing it with foam and capping both ends. This is very cheap and it might be a future video, so watch out for that. But you'll need a torso, at least. Next, you'll need some scotch tape. You can use this masking tape, this tan stuff or the blue stuff, either or. I prefer the tan because it shows the pen better. You'll need saran wrap or plastic wrap, whatever you call it. You'll need some. And the last two things you'll need are a pair of scissors and a pen. Any color, your choice. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take our saran wrap and cover our torso in it. Now this will keep the tape from sticking to the torso, in my case the duct tape, and makes it easier to take everything off in the end. So let's do that. Okay, so I've drawn a line down the middle of my torso because when you're making torso armor, your, your torso, your chest is pretty symmetrical. So you really only have to do one side of the armor and then you just mirror it on the other side. Unless you're trying to do specific things on each side, but in this case, I'm doing the same armor on this side that I am on this side. So you take your tape. and you just start laying it on. Okay, so that was pretty easy. We've taped up half of it. Now comes the fun part. Now we can take our pen and we can start drawing on our armor, starting with the pectoral armor, going into the abdomens, maybe some side armor. Right now, I'm not really sure exactly what armor I'm going for. I know I'm gonna be making a Robin costume, an armored Robin, and so I'm probably gonna go for a very Batman-like style with the breastplate and then segmented six pack basically, and maybe some side swoops here for the ribs. And eventually I might make some shoulder pads as well. He did indeed make those shoulder pads he said he might. But for now, I'm just gonna start sketching a little bit, probably with a pencil actually first, just to get a rough outline, and then I'll go in with a pen and define all those lines.
so we have everything drawn out. It might have to do some more changes as we put it on the on our actual body because some things might not fit. This could be too high. It could poke up into my arm. I don't really know until I put it on my body, so there might be changes still to make. But for now, we can cut all this off and flatten it out. Okay, so on the breastplate, I've cut this bottom part off right here so that when I make this out of EVA foam, I can bevel these edges with a 45 degree angle, stick them together, and they'll give a more three-dimensional shape, like a more round shape. Also, all this, all this black part here, that's the actual piece that's sticking out. This piece up here that had the red around it, will be a very thin EVA foam and that will be used to have these little holes here that will hold the shoulder armor with straps in place. So now you can transfer them to EVA foam, to Sintra, to metal if you wanted to, that would be pretty cool. So I'll be using a mixture of both in my armor. I'll be using EVA foam for the chest piece here because it'll be a little softer and it's going to be the largest piece. And then for these smaller pieces that don't have to flex a whole lot, I'll be using this PVC plastic. It's hard, rigid, and it'll be good for these little small parts that don't have to bend a whole lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, let me know that you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, put them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to them. If you enjoyed this video, I do have others on my channel, you can check those out here and here. And if you want to subscribe, I do have some more videos coming out in the future that I'm really excited about. You can subscribe by hitting that button down there. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.